Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I make new videos every other week, so be sure if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel and turn on my bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. Since Thanksgiving is coming up soon, I thought I would share with you guys my vegan cheesy green bean casserole. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm doing is making my vegan cheese sauce. To start out, I'm making something similar to a roux but a little bit thicker. And to do this, I'm putting about four tablespoons of olive oil in a small saucepan over medium heat. And to that, I'm gonna add in five tablespoons of all-purpose flour, whiskey in between every tablespoon to make sure there are enough flour pockets in our cheese sauce. This is gonna be what thickens up our sauce at the end and really gives it that nice, realistic cheese texture. Once it looks like this, it's time to slowly add in our almond milk. I'm only adding in about one and three-fourths cup here, but I add in the rest later. Later. In total, you're going to want two and one fourth cup of almond milk. To make this easier to mix in, you're going to want to make sure to microwave your milk or heat it up in a saucepan until it's a little bit warmer than room temperature. After that, we are going to really slowly pour in the almond milk a little bit at a time to ensure everything is mixed in super well. Now we're going to add in our spices. This is what's going to give our cheese flavor some depth. I'm adding in about two teaspoons of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of paprika, one eighth teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, and one eighth a teaspoon of chili powder. And please trust me on this one, I'm adding in about three to four tablespoons of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This gives our cheese sauce that beautiful orange color and is essential to making this sauce look convincingly cheesy. I'm not adding this in so much for the heat, but rather the flavor that it gives the sauce. Next, I'm adding in three fourths a cup of nutritional yeast, and I'm cooking that for about five minutes, stirring it often, and this is what's going to pull our sauce all together and thicken it up just the right amount. And that's the finished cheese sauce. This vegan cheese recipe is super versatile and you can substitute it out for a lot of cheese sauces and other recipes. Mac and cheese is my personal favorite to use this one for. Now it's time to put everything together to complete the casserole. I like to do this next part in stages so I know everything is mixed in really well. To prep, I'm opening and draining two 14.5 ounce cans of French style green beans. And in a large bowl, I'm pouring in one of the cans of drained green beans and half of the cheese sauce we just made. And I'm mixing that in really well before adding the second can of green beans and the rest of that cheese sauce and stirring that all again. Now it's time for the best part, the fried onions. I'm pouring in one full six ounce box of fried onions and I'm gently folding that into my cheesy green bean mixture. And once I have that all mixed in, I'm opening my second six ounce box of fried onions, but this time I'm making sure to set aside half of that box for later. And then I'm folding in the other half of that box into my casserole mixture. Once everything is well combined, I am greasing a small six by six casserole dish and pouring my mixture right in. Then after I've cleaned up the outside of the dish, I'm adding those fried onions I set aside earlier right to the top of my casserole. I'm covering the top of my casserole with some tin foil and I'm putting this in my oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for around 25 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. Mine ended up being closer to 30 minutes. Once it is all cooked, I am taking the tin foil off of the top of the casserole and putting it back in my oven for about three minutes, making sure to keep an eye on those fried onions to make sure they don't get too crispy. And that's how you make my vegan cheesy green bean casserole. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please be sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And if you would like to check out my other vegan recipes, I will leave a link to all of those in the description box below. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. Stay safe, stay healthy, make good choices, and I will see you guys soon. Bye loves.